If you guys are new here, my name is Dominique Pancake and welcome to today's video. Now today's video is going to be really special because we are doing a Cinderella inspired look, if you guys couldn't already tell, using the ColourPop Disney Designer Collection. Now I tried my absolute best to achieve the full Cinderella effect. I bumped my hair, gave myself some wispy lashes and put on some pink lipstick, which I rarely ever do. And I think we did a pretty good job. If you guys like the look, if you like me, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see how I achieve this beautiful Cinderella look, then just keep on watching. Okay, y'all are gonna have to forgive Cinderella because she is looking a little rough. So let's just go ahead and jump into the face and try to fix this up. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by moisturizing the face and I'm gonna be using my favorite moisturizer. This is the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. I love this because first of all, it's super, super hydrating. If you do have dry skin, I highly recommend. But also, I feel like it plumps. Also, I feel like it's super, super plumping on the skin. So it gives a nice glowing plump. It's absolutely perfect to prep for makeup application. I can already tell these bangs are gonna give me a headache this entire video. Okay, so for primer, I'm gonna be going into the Benefit Professional Primer. I wanted to do something that is really going to conceal my pores and make my skin look as flawless as possible because you know, us princesses, we gotta be on our game. Everyone's expecting the most from us, so we gotta make sure our skin is popping. So the moisturizer is going to serve kind of like a hydrating primer for us, so I'm gonna go really lightly with the professional primer, and I'm only going to focus this on areas where my pores are the most large and noticeable, so that's really gonna be my nose, and I put a little bit too much already, I can tell, and basically my cheek area. You guys, I am so, so, so excited to hop into the collection itself. I mean, it is freaking ginormous and I'm so excited, okay? I'm so excited. Okay, so moving on to foundation. I feel like there's this misconception, at least to me, that all princesses have dewy skin. Like, Cinderella probably is a dewy bitch, right? Right, okay, so let's just go ahead and jump into the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. This is in the shade Nude, and I'm going to be applying this with my favorite Japanese sponge. You can pick this up at Target. I know I got a lot, a lot of questions about this sponge in my last video. So yes, I got this at Target. I think it was eight or nine dollars, I think. I don't know, for a pack of two. Something around those margins. <laughs> to build up this foundation and not apply so much all at once because you really want like a satin natural finish because princesses ain't going around looking cakey so let's just go ahead and do a buildable coverage that looks very natural on the skin right along into concealer I actually want to do a little bit more coverage under the eyes so I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape which I haven't used in a really long time and I want to do a little bit of a bright under eye to really make Cinderella look super awake and just into it so I'm gonna be picking up the shade Fair again blending that out with my Japanese sponge so lightly setting that with my Maybelline translucent powder and a little bit goes a long way with this product so you really just want to use your damp beauty blender and press it into skin we're not gonna be doing any baking or anything like that because that'll really dry out our under eyes so we're just gonna just press it into the skin Okay, so before we hop into the contour and the blush and everything else a part of the face, I want to go ahead and just jump into the brows because right now they're looking 
hella crazy and I feel like once we have the brows in the right shape this will slowly come together so I'm just gonna go ahead and brush through my brows and I'm looking at a picture of Cinderella right now and she has a very like curved circular cartoon brow which obviously makes sense so I'm gonna try to replicate that also I'm gonna be going for a little bit thinner of a brow today not my normal like insta slay brow we're gonna try to make these really thin really cartoon like and really circular this is really hard for me because my brow shape is already like pretty heavily defined with the arch so I'm gonna try my best to make this circular okay I'm a little confused because I'm pretty sure there's two highlighters in this collection and I don't think I received any okay so I just checked the collection I dug deep at every little nook and cranny in this box and there are no highlighters so I'm a little confused because I did buy the PR edition so this is exactly what people who are on Colourpop's PR list got but I did not receive the highlighters which is a huge bummer I was super super excited about the highlighters so I guess yeah I guess we're just doing an entire face separately and then we'll use the collection for our eyes and lips which really sucks but whatever okay so let's just go ahead and jump into the face now looking at Cinderella's picture she doesn't have a very chiseled out face so i'm not going to be doing a lot of contouring but i do want to do a tad because this round face isn't the cutest so let's get into it okay, this has such a cute nose how am i going to replicate that okay so i'm going to be diving into my original contour kit by abh and i'm just going to be going into this cool tone shade here so basically i'm just going to be trying to make my face appear smaller so i'm going to start obviously in the outer region and then i'm just going to make it thinner as i move in i'm going to contour around my chin just a tad to make it Okay, so I'm going to try my absolute best to replicate Cinderella's tiny, cute little nose. So I'm going to be jumping into my CoverGirl. This is the Vitalist Healthy Powder in the shade Buff Beige. Tati, my mom. Tati recommended this product, one of many that she recommends to me. And I initially bought it for bronzing, which it's amazing for bronzer as well. At first, I was like, this is a little light for bronzer, but it actually gives just a very, very natural bronze, which I love. So if you guys are looking for something like that, I would recommend this. But I tried it for contouring the nose. Bitch, changed the game for me. So this is a really good contour for the nose because it's not that harsh. I know a lot of times when I go into the ABH contour for the nose, it looks like dirt on my face. This is much more natural and easier to work with. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, so moving on to blush. Cinderella does have a very opaque pink blush so I'm gonna try to replicate that but not look like a clown using the Tarte color wheel and I'm gonna be going into ooh, hmm. okay I'm gonna be mixing the two shades mod and surreal so this is like a nude pink and this is like a true pink and try to get that perfect balance I see that she kind of like brings the blush all the way up here kind of like contour with my new favorite this is the master chrome maybelline highlighters the master chrome collection by maybelline is all in all incredible the molten one <laughs> bomb so this one when this came out i knew i had to get it this is actually their collab with nikki tutorials the highlight queen and can we just get into this oh my god focus it's too bright it won't even focus on this bitch okay i'm just gonna okay she's too bright so it's not gonna focus but i'm just gonna Oh my lord. Blinding. This is such a beautiful like white gold. It's a really really smooth highlight and I definitely recommend this if you have light to medium skin tones and if you guys do have deep to deep dark I definitely recommend the molten gold one it's so beautiful it's a tad too dark for my skin tone but I like to put it on and then layer a lighter one on top really blinding really smooth and absolutely stunning and for like really cheap I think six dollars seven dollars something around there Okay, finally, the moment everyone has been waiting for, including myself, 
we can finally dip into this collection, which was honestly the purpose of this whole video. I thought there was blushes and I thought there was highlighters, but clearly I was wrong. So all there is is lip products and eyeshadows. So obviously we're gonna go ahead and hop into the eyes first. And I'm trying not to open this all the way because it will block the camera. If you guys didn't know, this is called the Designer Collection by ColourPop, of course. And basically it is focusing on six princesses. It's got Tiara, Ariel, Belle, Jasmine, Snow White, and Cinderella. That's me. Here is the outside packaging of the actual palette itself. And then we open it up and we have a pretty neutral plain Jane palette. I was kind of, not gonna lie, kind of disappointed that they didn't go full color mode with all of these vibrant, saturated, full personality princesses. I was hoping to have like pops of red for Ariel and pops of blue for Cinderella and things like that. But I think they went the neutral route because that's maybe what the princesses would wear. At least that's what I'm assuming. And yeah, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and start on the eyes. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in so you can really, really see what's going on in the eyes. And obviously, this is a neutral, natural glam palette. So we're going to do some neutral, natural glam eyeshadow. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, I think I'm going to start with my transition. And that's going to be the shade Grumpy right here. It's kind of a very neutral, pale pink shade. And I think that's going to be really great for the transition. So let's go ahead and pick that up. I am picking this up on a Sigma diffuse crease brush. This is the E38 and you guys can use pancake at checkout for money off. Shameless promo there. Now this is going to be a really, really neutral basic eye look simply because all of the Cinderella photos that I have found, you don't really see her eye makeup that much except for her like wispy lashes. So yeah, this is going to be really basic guys. definition to the eyes so I'm gonna pick up just a tad of the shade Triton or Triton Triton I'm stupid okay which is this shade here now I'm gonna do a really 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 light hand with this shade because I don't want this look to go too dark I want it to look really airy and just like elegant and if we go too dark it's just gonna mess up the entire look up a flat brush this is one of the naked brushes that came with the naked 3 palette so I'm sure a lot of you guys have it and I'm gonna pick up the shade chip which is a very muted white creamy matte and I'm just gonna be putting this all over the lid okay you guys that is basically it for the eyeshadow I know this is super basic but Cinderella is a basic bitch what can I say so I'm gonna pick up this Maybelline eyeliner this is kind of a nude shade it's called soft nude so I'm gonna be using this to put in my waterline and I'm hoping this is gonna really really open up my eyes and give me that like doe dyed effect and I want you to do just a tiny tiny delicate wing to just open up my eyes a little bit more. I'm gonna be doing that with the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. So I like to start on the edge and then fling it out and then connect it. Yeah, you guys will see. <laughs> sisters not twins just keep that in mind when you look at this right now okay okay I'm gonna be dipping into the voluminous lash Paris mascara and then we'll hop into lashes okay so for lashes I wanted to do something that's really gonna be wispy and curled out at the ends and I decided to go with the dodo lashes d312s if you guys can see that they have like the flared edges here that make them really really wispy so I'm gonna be putting these on off camera and I will be right back but before I go if you guys want to purchase dodo lashes you can use code Dominique at checkout 
Okay, these lashes were the absolute perfect lash for this look. They're super whimsical and they flare out on the ends and I just think they really brought the look together. So I'm super happy about that. Okay, you guys, we are getting in the final stretch of the look. Obviously, the only thing we have left is lipstick and I'm gonna be dipping into the designer collection lipstick bundle and obviously they have a lipstick for each princess and I'm gonna be using the Cinderella lipstick today. Now, in all of the photos that I have seen, Cinderella's lips are very much so I'm assuming that's what this is. Let's go ahead and open it up. Yeah, it's just a very neutral pink, and I think this is obviously gonna work perfectly with the look, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. together. I'm so excited. Okay, the final step, of course, is setting spray. I'm going to be using my Morphe Set and Prep continuously continue with the setting spray. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got to set this bitch in place. I got a ball to get to. I got a shoe to lose. I got a man's to go see. Okay, you guys, that is it for today's Cinderella tutorial using the new ColourPop Disney Designer Collection. And I think we job I really do I'm really happy with this look if you guys are wondering what this is it's not a shawl it's nothing fancy this is a pair of pants a pair of pants and then the headband if you guys are interested in that I actually DIY this I went to Walmart and purchased a thick headband because all the photos I saw of Cinderella she had a very thick band they didn't have any blue ones they didn't have the perfect Tiffany blue color that I needed so I picked up some acrylic paint I think it was like 50 cents and I painted this bitch so that's how I created this look and then these earrings I purchased at forever 21 a few weeks ago I think they were five or six dollars relatively cheap obviously if you guys want to do the full shebang you probably should get a dress but I did this with basically everything that I have at home the makeup look of course you guys definitely do not have to go purchase the ColourPop collection this is definitely a look I could do with things I already own but I thought it would be fun to go ahead and open up the Disney collection and do a Disney inspired look I had so so much fun filming this video you guys I got to bring in my inner princess and if you guys know me you know I have been completely obsessed with Disney lately so this was a really fun challenge for me to kind of bring this look together and not only do makeup but do hair and I think I think we did a good job I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video now if you guys did like this video I thought a really cool concept for my channel would be recreating other Disney characters like Ariel Rapunzel Minnie Mouse and things like that so if that is something you guys would be interested in I would love 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 to do that so definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if that would be something you guys would want also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and share the video let everyone know don't make posted so don't forget to subscribe to keep our little family growing and i love you guys so much i will see you in my next one bye guys